All right, coming to you live from Austin, Texas and DockerCon. I'm here with Bill Maxwell of Rancher Labs. How are you, Bill? Doing well, thanks. Good. So we did an interview, I don't remember how long ago, but I'm sure some things have, have changed since there. What's uh, Rancher Labs, what are you up to these days? This has been a pretty big week for us uh, and as far as announcements go. Um, we announced uh, GA of our Rancher OS uh, operating system. Uh, so that's now at 1.0, um, doing quite well. We announced uh, one of our open source projects around storage, uh, kind of a framework for uh, orchestrating block storage in the containers uh, called Project Longhorn. Uh, you can read about that on our blog. Uh, Very appropriate to, to announce here in uh, the land of the Longhorn. Yeah, and um, you know, we're continuing to move forward with the Rancher platform, uh, adding a lot of features, working on stability, performance, um, and just you know, keeping up with customer demand. Um, we did uh, one more big one. Oh, yesterday they announced uh, that we're partners with Docker now, reselling uh, Docker EE, so that's pretty exciting for us. So, and then speaking of you talking about playing well with Docker, what other um, frameworks or orchestration layers, etc., do you plug in and, and work well with? Yeah, so originally we, when we went GA, we came out with uh, support for Rancher and Cattle as our native orchestrator, and we had uh, basic support for Kubernetes. And over the last year, we've really uh, spent a lot of time really making that rock solid. Uh, so we've been working on that quite a bit. And we also added support for Docker Swarm. Uh, the new swarm mode um, is still an experimental, but we deploy that with uh, Portainer IO um, for a UI on top of swarm, and it gives it a really nice experience. Um, we also can deploy and manage Mesos, and we have experimental support for Windows containers now too. Cool. Is there a, a, techno a tectonic uh, connection? Is would that fit in that anywhere? Um, no, we, we don't work with tectonic right now. Um, I think kind of they that's a whole stack type of solution, and so. You know, we're uh, just in different spaces. Okay, and then back to the Kubernetes. How does that actually work? Um, what does what with what on the Rancher uh, Kubernetes uh, tie up? Yeah, so originally when we first started, we were trying to build um, kind of our own stuff around Kubernetes, and we quickly realized that you know, the Kubernetes ecosystem is moving fast and, and moving in a really great direction. So we sort of backed off of that approach, and now we kind of we have more of a distro approach, so we package up Kubernetes, we include the Kubernetes dashboard from the upstream community, we include Tiller so that they can use Helm out of the box, Heapster, um, uh, InfluxDB, and uh, SkyDNS, so we just package that all, so as soon as it's deployed, you're able to use, a, have a great Kubernetes experience, and then, you know, Rancher under the hood there is providing uh, the orchestration and management of the, uh, the management tier, and as you add nodes to the Kubernetes cluster, um, you know, we're, we're facilitating that. And then we provide our uh, IPsec-based networking to it so containers can communicate, and then we also do the ingress controller implementation. So as you expose your services, we're building out um, our implementation of uh, proxy to uh, expose those services to the cluster. Cool. And then semi-random question. So Shang, your C, uh, CEO, came from Sun where he did a lot of cool Java stuff. Mm -hmm. Is there any Java connection here? Yeah, the core orchestrator, um, Cattle, is actually written in Java. Um, so we've, we've got quite a bit there uh, at, the, at the core of it. But lately we've also taken an approach towards microservices, mostly written in Go. And so we deliver a lot of these things through our own kind of catalog interface, so Kubernetes, uh, Swarm, um, our IPsec implementation, the plugins that we're building, those all get deployed as catalog items and they're all in their own self-contained containers um, and they talk back into kind of the core Java orchestrator piece. So that's kind of how our software architecture looks right now. Cool. Mr. Maxwell, thank you so much. Thank you.